welcome to the fourth episode of the Stone Maxwell podcast. Today, we will be talking about YouTube analytics and a little insight on how they work and what makes things popular on this platform. But first, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the school's YouTube channel. All right, let's begin. So the YouTube algorithm takes popular videos with lots of views and puts them onto your recommended page. Not only that, the videos that you've liked, enjoyed, and watched through completely, those videos from that specific channel or other channel channels similar, similar to that will also appear on them. Sometimes the algorithm can be weird, especially with, with weird channels. With some channels, they get a bunch of subscribers just in one month, and they recommend it to you for no reason. For example, we will be looking at a channel named Stevie, not Steve, Stevie, which is also a Minecraft YouTuber. YouTuber. If you look at his page, you can see that he has a million subscribers, and he only joined one month ago. Nani? And this is probably because he posts short videos around 30 seconds every day, multiple times a day, and has a million subscribers. This is probably because people like his content and because he posts frequently. Because of his vast content, the way the YouTube algorithm works is that the more videos you upload, the longer watch time you would get. And the more videos that there are in your channel, the most likely people will be interested in your videos. The, the we, YouTube algorithm works weird. And it's interesting how, how there's different types of versions of how the YouTube algorithm works with recommendations and even channel uh, growth. Now we will be talking about our analytics from our YouTube channels. The Dreadinator and the TCG player. Take it away, Taylor. Okay, so as you see, if you look at my overview of my channel, it says your channel got 729 views in the last 28 days. So it says that this is about the same as usual. Each video gets an average of 50 views. My watch time is 12 hours in the last 28 days, about the same as usual. And I've gotten eight subscribers in the last 28 days. So if we go back to seven days, I got 290 views in the seven, past seven days, 3.8 watch hours, and four plus subscribers. Now, if we go back to 90 days, I got 2,880 views in the last 90 days. My watch time was 33.1 hours, and my subscriber count was 18 plus. Now, if we go back to the last 365 days, which is a year, of course, my channel has... 8,945 views in the last 365 days. That's 97.9 hours and the 50 and, and 50 subscribers. If you go over to reach, my channel has 70,000 impressions. Impressions click through rate is 8.7%. The views is that and unique viewers for the last 28 days has been 483 around around 1,000 unique viewers. So you, you like viewers that actually watch my channel, channel over and over again. My view count, it's kind of gone up and down. And the reason why maybe I'm not getting as much views as Stevie is because, for example, I don't have a lot of videos. And that's why I don't have enough content for enough returning viewers. And also, it just depends on how many people really subscribe. The YouTube algorithm can't be random. It doesn't control everything. For example, our friend, Dr. Math, he, he doesn't even have barely any videos, but a lot of people help Math. That's, that's why a lot of people subscribe to him. But as you can see, he doesn't even really follow the YouTube algorithm. Bruh. That's about it for my analytics. Um, TCG player, take it away. Yeah, so uh, as you can see, I don't necessarily get the highest views, but uh, we can now see how many views I get per day, my click-through rate, and returning viewers. For example, my view count total, this is the lifetime of the channel, is 791. My total watch time is 9.1 hours, and my subscriber count is 15. This number is when I started my channel seven months ago. Now let's look over the past 28 days. So views, I've gotten 59. My total watch time is one point five hours in the past 28 days and I got three more subscribers in the past 28 days. Thank you for watching the fourth episode of the STEM Expo po podcast and we hope you enjoyed. Have a great day.
please make sure to like subscribe to the school's YouTube channel. Then secondary, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and maybe Joaquin's channel. It's and maybe even Dr. Math. And yeah, Dr. Math. Maybe, maybe. Maybe even Dr. Math. Maybe. I mean, who um, knows? The Dreadinator and Dr. Math are in a subscriber war after all. No, no, it doesn't matter. Anyways, my channel is called The Dreadinator, and Joaquin's channel is The TCG Player. Bye bye. Have a nice day. From this where is all I ask to play. As long as you double it every day. And I won't even stop now, Mr. Gray. The best that you got. So what do you say? Exponential.